disposer, a stellar day. His 43rd disposal. It was a big derby to play him because we hadn't, I don't think we'd won for a while. And, uh, and I think it was a pressure game where we, we really need to win. So um, in true Matty Rosa style, he always steps up in big, big games. It's Rosa with the entry. Darling holds his ground. Cox was there. It was beautiful watching Rosa. I was the sub, had the green vest on, and uh, got to sit there and watch him just rack him up. But after about quarter time, I knew he was on track for a big score, so I uh, was sitting there counting his counting his uh, kicks and handballs. It was a great effort by him. Rosa's been a factor already, and that's a beautiful result. I remember sitting in the stands, and uh, I think it was about the second quarter, and I just you just know that Matty was on fire. He just kept grabbing the footy, and um, I think uh, I just remember saying at half time, going like, geez, he's, he's out on the string. Yeah, I just remember it being a really tight first half. Um, we were sort of struggling to find any space and then, yeah, the second half we sort of really got on top of them through the midfield and, um, yeah, we started to get our fair share of the footy and um, overran them in the end. Rosa, he'll think about it. He'll do more than think about it. He'll act and he'll kick another one. His work rate in games and his, his ability to get back in and help out the backs um, defensively is... It's fantastic. So to see him get rewarded with a massive game, like 43 touches, is, is um, good for him. No one went near him for the whole game, and he's absolutely racked it up on a wing, and that's quoted from him. So, you know, great effort winning the, uh, the medal, but it's pretty easy when you don't have a man on you all day. Uh, yeah, and I had, had a few blokes. <laughs> but uh, no, I was, I was awarded a little bit of space, which was, which was good. You don't get that against Freo very often, so... Um, yeah, I was lucky to find a bit of space and, as I said, the midfield were very good, so we had uh, had a lot of the game on our team. The couple has got Rosa, and the setup's complete, inside for Lynch, and look at that, bang! It's just about game over now. I remember the three of us feeding him all day um, on the outside. Uh, it would have been nice standing out there. We, uh, no, he, um, yeah, he had a blinder that day. Oh, look at that, he sold it beautifully. I also remember kicking a fantastic goal. That was awesome. Balked a few players down the wing, bounces, goal, like, oh. Uh, who's handing the medal out these days? Will Schofield! It was a good feeling, obviously, to go up and collect the medal. Um, I wasn't 100% sure that I'd sort of get the nod because I remember Shuey and Gaffey uh, being all over him and we had a really even sort of midfield performance that day and um, had a lot of good players but um, yeah it was a good feeling. Probably the funniest part of it was um, he actually couldn't stand up straight when the medal went around his neck he actually almost hunched him over he's that skinny but um, no it was an unbelievable form performance. Uh, Matty Rose just had an absolute field day um, one of his touches though were when the game was already over so um, but, yeah he was, uh, he was very lucky. Yeah, was... Oh, Natanui! Even higher than the last one! I think it was a big win against Freo. We haven't won too many derbies um, in my time here at the club, but to see Rat, I guess, rack up that many possessions and um, you know run up and down that wing all day and, and collect, was it 40 odd possessions? Um, you know, something I haven't seen before, and it was massive for him. Rosa, can he cap off a stellar day? His 43rd disposal. He was very influential that day, and um, yeah, it was, uh, it was so great to see him, him get that medal. I think there was a photo of him going around with the boys, of him with his Roscoe, as they like to call it, uh, that he got a bit of stick for, but uh, he's a good man, Rose.